Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. In today's episode, we are looking at new crafting recipes. We're looking at new items, new ore, new little things like that. Today's episode is not going to be uh, super action-packed. It's just going to be like, we're going to look at a few things. Go, hmm, this looks good, and hmm, that looks alright. That's pretty much what today's episode is all about. Yesterday, though, I have to address this. So yesterday we had one of the best episodes yet, in my opinion. It was like three super tense, nail-biting boss fights, all of them victories, and it was just a really good time. But as some of you pointed out, well, a select hand, of you, a select handful, a very small amount of you noticed, I actually wasn't wearing titanium armor for the fights. I was wearing a combination of titanium and ninja armor. And it's because I was testing out vanity sets before the episode began because I was like, okay, gotta look cool for my boss fights. And yeah, we just did all of them without it. And I was so proud when I found out that I'd, I'd managed to do it under these hard challenges and win. But I was also kind of like, oh, it's so stupid. When people find out, they won't think it was as good of an episode. But I had to get it off my chest. Right, so... We unlocked the Pickaxe Axe yesterday, which is a great item, and it now means we can go and get that brand new ore. Well, I actually saved time today and I actually just went and got some. I currently have, let's see, 289 pieces of it. So, one Splunker Potion's worth, basically. Now, I was, uh, I was looking on the item finder, and uh, when you put this in, it doesn't make its own bar, it makes Dradon bars which requires 15 ore and one essence of cinder. So I started working on my cinder and I got four of them and that took forever. And I was like, well, is that everything? So uh, I'm going to quickly check with my guide up at the top here. Is that everything? Because sometimes that mod cannot show everything. All right, okay, it is everything. All right, so we're out of luck. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do, of course, is, uh, is see what it makes. So let's go to the Mithril Anvil. I only have four essence of cinder, like I said. Oh god, my voice is going today. I can actually feel it. My voice is going. <coughs> oh, there you go. You can, make you can make five? You can make five per go. Hey. Excalibur short sword. God, no thank you. Wow. The quagmire. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Can you guys hear that? The voice cracks are real. <laughs> They're real. Oh my god, the Quagmire, 61 melee damage, fires spore clouds. I've got to do it, Anna. Go on, I'm making the Quagmire, giggity giggity. <laughs> Hope you're all fans of South Park. So these are uh, melee and throwing weapons. Okay, that's cool. I actually want to... Uh, so this is the thing, I've never done a throwing play for, uh, a playthrough in my life. And uh, I'm not very uh, up to date with uh, how it all works. I eventually want to go and look at that. My voice, my voice is going, actually is. Today we just carry on without it. Helion Flower Spear. Oh, that looks so good. Feral Fawn Claymore. Oh, there's actually an armor set with it as well. It's called the Reaver Thingy. 15% increased melee damage, 8% increased melee speed, 9% increased melee critical strike chance, immune to lava, cursed inferno, can now move freely through liquids. Wow, I want to try out that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go get some more essence of Cinder. We'll go try it out. Let's go try out our Quagmire. Oh my God, Godly! <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Wow, it's cool to get a new yo-yo because obviously, as you guys know, I, I love yo-yos. Oh wow, this looks, this looks really good. Right, we should go get some Cinder. So, hopefully, it's not still a sandstorm, but we shall still get sun tortoises, right? I uh, I tried for a while just farming wyverns for Essence of Cinder, and like it was like one in three would drop it, so it was getting a little bit boring. So uh, I came here and it was a uh, it was a desert storm, and then that took forever to uh, to get anything done because of all of the little enemies you get. Right, let's see any sun horses. I'm hoping they'll just spawn in. They probably just should, right? Wow, that is powerful. That is crazy strong. Here we go. All right, drop that cinder, boy. Did you drop some? Okay, he dropped some. Nice, that's five extra bars. Okay, cool. I like the, uh, I like what you're doing here with the, uh, you have to get the cinder and then mix it with the ore. It's, you know, it's unique. It's, it's nice. It's something different, at least, for this stage of the game. 
Wow. I love how powerful this is. I really do. It's cool to see new yo-yos. I love yo-yos. I think, I think we can all confirm Chippy loves a good yo-yo. Or James. <laughs> you can call me Ive. I'm not bothered. Um, James loves a good yo-yo. I do. I really do. Okay. Cool. Right. But uh, yeah, honestly, I was so shocked to, uh, to see that ninja thing yesterday. It was uh, <laughs> not one of my finest moments. I think the fact that I beat all of them makes it fine. But if I'd have lost all of them and I'd have been like, huh, God, the game's so hard. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> I think you all would have murdered me. I'd have lost a few subscribers, no doubt. And I'd have, I'd have deserved it. That's the thing. <laughs> I wouldn't, so you guys, don't leave. <laughs> my voice is so sore today because I recorded a few things today. I don't usually do that in a day. I usually just record one video. Or two, or two, but I usually stick to one. But I recorded some new zombies, which I was really happy to play, uh, which is available now. And then I recorded some Mario Kart, because I was banging on about Mario Kart, and you guys were like, I'd like to see someone, and so would I. And so uh, I went out, <laughs> I rushed out. I explained a little bit of this in tomorrow's video, but uh, I went out and I rushed out to go get all these cables to record a GameCube with, because my old Elgato that I used to use for uh, retro gaming well, it's broken, so I, I, I came up with this quick idea of like, okay, what I can do is I can go and get these connectors and do it all myself, right? And uh, yeah, these cables were kind of expensive, and uh, the quality of the actual footage looks like I'd like take the video player and played it back to you. It looks really authentic to how it looked when I was young, but uh, in terms of YouTube quality, that's an interesting one, but that'll be out tomorrow anyway. Just a, it's a little piece of my childhood, and I want to share it with you guys, because Chippy's couch is all about getting personal. That's what I feel like it's about. Chippy Gaming, I do a lot of uh, news and stuff, and, you know, kind of like... I'm just kind of talking about Terraria, you know, there's no kind of me in it anymore. So I, uh... And Chippy's couch, I want to make things personal. I want to make them personal, right. That was a good little talk for uh, getting some cinder there. Had to kill a little bit of time. We have three pieces now, and mandible claws. Super fast! Super fast, let's do this. <laughs> We've had these before, right? These are the uh, the clampy ones, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go and make three more bars. Let's make a full set and just see how good this is. Okay, so one, two, three. Can you make the chest plate? Okay, you can. Right, so I'm going to make the whole thing. Oh, I can't make the whole thing. Damn it, going to have to go get some more. Right, I should probably just uh, <clears throat> sort all of this out anyway. God, the voice breaks are real today. <laughs> the voice breaks are real. Let's go get some more. Once we've uh, once we've got some more, then uh, should be good. I only need like five more pieces, I imagine. The chest plate would probably take us up a lot. So what is this? Reaver scale mail. 15 defense, 5% increased melee damage and crit strike chance. 15 defense, 4% increased damage, 3% increased... Wow. Hmm, I wonder which one's better, because obviously you get the uh, the dodge effect with Titanium. I imagine Reaver is probably a little bit better. It goes well with our yo-yo, which looks so damn good. I love the yo-yo. Thank you, Calamity Creators, for the yo-yo. Tell you what, actually, Calamity Creators, just in general, thank you all so much. I imagine there's a few of you who work on the project, and uh, I imagine one of you or two of you have probably seen the videos, so... uh Thank you, dudes. I, I really like the mod so far. I, if you can't see it in the videos, I, I really like it. I think it's really good. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed that it took me so long to play it. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I love it. It's people like you that keep the community alive. Right. Back to you guys, the audience. <laughs> Sand tortoises, eh? Eh, what's that all about? Taking a long time to come here, aren't they? Considering we only need one or two. I want to get... Preferably you want two, don't you? Just so you can carry on looking at recipes. Is that one? No, okay. So I didn't get one that time. But I tell you what, this is honestly a lot faster than doing it the Wyvern way. Like, doing it the Wyvern way, like, legitimately does take a long time. We have uh, Plantera coming up to do. Plantera and Gollum, going to be so easy. Never struggle with them, to be honest. Not anymore. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then we also have a new boss, don't we? We have Cryogen. So we have to beat the Cryogen boss. Now, I'm not sure exactly. I can't remember exactly the Cryogen summoning device. But uh, I'm pretty sure we could probably find it real quick. It has something to do with... Something to do with ice. Or something like that. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with ice. So maybe it's the uh, the essence of 
freezing or whatever. <laughs> Making that up on the top of my head, but the essence of uh, cold or whatever. Something to do with that, probably. Let's see here. So, I got my uh, I got my cinder, but I picked up uh, the curse item, didn't I? I'm trying to remember what that is. Let me just go and check. I'm trying to see what it is. Dijon's curse. Vanity item grants slow fall in exchange for your feet. Oh, wow. That's cool. Does that actually give you slow fall? It looks really cool. It looks really, really good. I, uh, I haven't had this before. This is uh, patch 1.3.2, I think. I don't know. I hope it's 1.3.2. I said something like that the other day and got it wrong. Right, back to the house. Let's go and craft the rest of the things. Let's go and craft the rest. So, oh, they have their own wings. Match speed with style. Excellent acceleration. Free flight speed. Good flight time. 90. <laughs> it's just incomparable. Like, the amount of detail you got on this allows flight and slow fall. Like, how am I meant to tell? How am I meant to tell? I can't tell. That's that's the that's the real thing. Right, two more of these. So let's make the uh, the leggings here. So we'll finish up with the cuses. Sure. And then that's gonna do it for this little section of uh, of this armor. So let's try this on. So 49 defense before. Have I got? Yeah, I've got. I must have weak. I've got weak on. Great. Okay. If I, if I use a nurse, will that get rid of that? Right, it does. Okay, so 53 defense. 55 defense. Okay, rage activates when you are damaged. Melee projectiles explode on hit. Reaver forms. Grants increase melee damage, melee crit, and melee speed as health decreases. You take more damage as health decreases. See, this is the thing. I'm not big on... on there's a lot of this in Calamity. Items that work on when your health is low or something like that. Like, I'm not big on items like that. Never have been. So, that's a little bit annoying. I was hoping it wasn't that. Right, so we have a sandstorm. We're going to test our newfound abilities on a uh, on a sand elemental. Wow, that is... I feel powerful. I feel powerful, I'm going to be honest. A bone bite is getting killed pretty quickly. Let's wait for one of the little mini bosses and let's see what happens. If we can beat this mini boss, then uh, this armor is to stay. Tell you what, though, <clears throat> I want to take off uh, this stuff here and just have the uh, armor on display. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off that vanity helmet, too. Okay, kill you dudes. Kill everything in sight to increase our chances. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, right? That looks cool. I like it. I like it. It looks awesome, actually. So our health is decreased, so what's going up then? A few things, right? Uh, probably damage or whatever. Oh wow, I killed that one fast. It's a, it's an interesting concept for sure. Hey, where's my little mini boss at? I need my mini boss. <laughs> they are meant to spawn in this kind of weather. This is this is technically a storm, right? Pretty sure it is, I'm pretty sure it's a storm. Okay, right. So we'll probably end up doing Plantera maybe tomorrow if I can find, if I can get the arena done in time. We'll do Plantera tomorrow, and then we'll do Golem immediately after because I never wait around for that. I need to explore my jungle a little bit more. I'm going to need to get life fruit as well. That's going to be something we have to get. So factor in time for that. I, I say we could probably do it in an episode. I've got a busy day tomorrow, but I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure we can do that. Okay, right. So it's working out good to be on low health, right? That's the case. Or do you take more damage when health is low? I need to really look into these things. I've still not found this mini boss yet, though. You know which one I'm talking about? I'm on about the one who spawns the little uh, tornadoes and stuff. Come on. Where's it at? <laughs> Where's it at? Usually they're so common the second you get into one of these things. At least, though, we're getting a chance to just work on uh, just having fun with this yo-yo. I do really like the yo-yo. That was a really nice touch. Oh, we should probably go look at... Right, if this guy's not spawning, this boss ain't spawning, let's go and look at the crafting recipe for cryogen. Because we actually need to get that done. So, 
Let's go and see. So, here's the list so far of bosses. So, as you can see, I need to uh, quickly quick stack all this stuff. Sort inventory. I'm going to need to sort all this out. But as you can see, the perforator, we need to go back and do it just so it's done. But then it's cryogen. And people were all saying, do cryogen after the mechanical bosses. So, we're at that stage now. And then there's calamities as well. So, I don't know when we start working on calamities either. That's another one. There's loads of little, <laughs> there's loads of little things I need to, to sit and figure out. So I'm going to start putting some stuff away. Just so everything is nice and organized. I just want to make sure I've got everything. Uh, I'm going to bin this even though I could sell it. Vanity. I'm going to put this stuff in here. I'm just making sure I've uh, covered everything. All right, and I need to work on my accessories. But that should be fine for now. That should be fine. So, what we work on now is figuring out this boss. Now, I imagine it's one of it's this core. It's got to be the essence of Lilium. I, I think I saw it the other the other day as well in an episode. I'm pretty sure I did. Did I really just do that? Really? I, I'm so bad with this mod. Okay, quickly sort all of this out. No, that doesn't go there. Uh, I'm just making sure everything's in the right place. That should be it, right? I'm going to say that that's it. That's it. Okay. Right. So, let's look at this stuff then. Okay. So, core of Elelium, you need ectoplasm. So, you need to have beaten Plantera. Cryo key. Okay. So, you need souls of night, souls of light, essence of Elelium, and ice blocks. Right. Let's do that now. Let's do that now. I used all my souls of night and light, though. I think I have. I used a lot of them. Right, I've got I've got enough. So, five of that. Five of this. Some ice blocks. I should have them already. Right, I have ice blocks. And then, I'm going to need potions, presumably. But let's see if we can just make this real quick. Cryo key. Summons the gigantic floating iron mass. Or ice mass. Does that say ice mass or ice mass? Yeah, ice mass. Okay, so potions. Right, I'm going to go with shine, regen, swiftness, thorns, endurance, hunter for sure, iron skin. Have I got, I've got heart reach, but I don't really need it. Hmm, okay, I don't have anything else though. That's all I've got in terms of what will probably be good for us. I've got my endurance, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, that's looking good. Right. Let's go and do this then. Let's go and uh, let's go and do it now. Just because we can get it out of the way then. We'll give it a first attempt. This is our first attempt where we look and see what is possible with a boss. So, this is me just looking at its movement for the first time. If we beat it... We probably won't, but if we manage to beat it, then uh, that's all good in that. But uh, we probably won't. So, this area is flat enough. Let's uh, flatten out a bit. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's make sure it's nice and flat. I don't know if it's going to be, obviously, a, uh, a boss which you actually fight on the ground or in the sky. It's probably in the sky, right? But uh, I'll make it flat anyway. We'll just make one flat area like this. Okay. And we'll put down a campfire. Gonna take some cooked fish. Okay, so what we do is we buff up. We do this. Okay. Whoa, it's playing the Christmas music. Nice. Oh my god, I'm gonna start thinking about Python as I always do during the Christmas music. Oh my god, he's he's challenging. It's weird because I don't know what his attack pattern's gonna be in the slightest. I don't know what to uh to like start looking out for. I'm just going to concentrate for a second and try and focus on what's happening. So he's summoning, he summons himself randomly, spins around and shoots out a projectile that goes around in a 360 angle. Right, and I just saw then he had two minions as well, occasionally. So what you don't want to do with this guy is run into him. And you don't want to run into his traps. You know what, we're actually frozen, but I kind of thought we'd be frozen a lot sooner than that. Okay, let's see... Keep this going. Okay, come on. 
Oh. Come on, where's he going? Right, we're on low health, so that's why I'm being a little bit more cautious. Okay, not cautious enough, though, it seems. Oh, second phase. Right, okay, I kind of thought I had an easy win then. <laughs> Greg was murdered by a frost shard. So what, so what is that, then? That's a, uh, a challenging fight. Can I bring that to a normal biome? That's what I want to know, because if so, we can fight it in the arena tomorrow. Let me know, guys. Can you do that? So we don't waste any more uh, crafting materials. But that was actually a cheap boss fight to make. So, uh, yeah, let me know. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had an absolutely incredible day. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. All right, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.